sports fans, and welcome to the Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football uh, pregame show. And we'll also do an ALCS update show. Well, it's, it's going to be more of an update show than a pregame show for Thursday night. But uh, we're going to talk about tonight's game between the Denver Broncos and New Orleans Saints and feel, see what I feel needs to happen in the second half. And uh, it's 16-3 to right now at halftime. Denver leads. I was talking about all that, but first, here is today's Scott Sports 101 trivia question, and it's a Broncos trivia question. What Major League Baseball team drafted John Elway? I'll have the answer later on the podcast. Well, it's Thursday Night Football Week 7. We have a great AFC-NFC matchup for you tonight. Uh, the New Orleans Saints and the Denver Broncos are, will have their clash. Or they're having their clash right now. Mercedes-Benz, Superdome, and New Orleans. Uh, Louisiana, what a difference a week makes. A week ago, the Denver Broncos were coming off a great win in in uh, in Las Vegas uh, over the Raiders. This week, the Broncos are coming off a disappointing loss uh, to the LA to the Los Angeles Chargers, and now they have a short week in the mix as uh, Denver's uh, uh, set and taking on uh, New Orleans. Uh, Thursday night right now, and uh, the uh, and uh, the Broncos are three and three and need a win to head into their mini bye with some confidence and good vibes, and that is absolutely true. Uh, uh, meanwhile, the uh, New Orleans Saints, who are two and four, uh, is reeling after that, uh, after just losing to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 51 to 27. They led by a field goal at halftime, the Saints, but Tampa Bay just dominated that second half. And uh, so, uh, you know, will Denver make it three straight wins on the road? Uh, here are some MHR uh, keys to uh, Thursday night's game uh, offensive rank rankings. Denver uh, uh, is ranked 29th in total offense. 278 yards per game and 20, 23rd in uh, rushing offense, 107.3 uh, yards per game. Uh, they're 27th in, in passing offense, 170.8 yards per game. And 25th in scoring, uh, 18.7 points per game. Now, New Orleans is 18th in total offense, 319.8 three, uh, yards per game, 13th. In rushing uh, offense, 119.5 yards per game, 21st. In uh, passing offense, 200.3 yards per game. Tied for fifth in scoring, 27.8 points per game. Now for the defensive rank rankings. Uh, Denver is fourth in, the, in total defense, 284.3 uh, per game. 14th in ranking uh, defense, 114.2 yards per game. Fifth in passing defense, 170.2 yards per game. Fourth in scoring points, 16.0 points uh, uh, per game. Now, New Orleans, uh, they rank 32nd in total defense, 395.8 yards per game. Uh, 20th in rushing defense, 133.7 yards per game. 29th in passing defense, 262 uh, point two yards per game and 23rd in scoring 24.5 points per game uh, now here are the MH uh, staffs key keys to Thursday night's game to tonight's game I should say be aggressive on offense which is something the Broncos need to do uh, the Broncos have been flat two uh two games in a row that needs to stop on Thursday night which is tonight especially on offense, Sean Payton needs to find uh, his game plan against the Bucks, which he kind of did, and use it against the Saints. Uh, take the opening kickoff, open up the offense, and let Bo Nix make plays in the vertical passing game. That uh, set up uh, the rest of the game and needs to be uh, what Denver uh, does on Thursday needs to be what Denver what Denver does on Thursday. Uh, put a stop to those sluggish starts and give your team a better chance of success. 
Now the forced uh, turnovers on defense. The Broncos defense uh, struggled without Patrick uh, Sertain, uh, the second against the Los Angeles Chargers. He's expected to be out for Thursday night's uh, matchup, but the Saints will uh, also be without their top two receivers. Spencer Rattler is getting his second start commanding their offense. Last week, uh, he threw two interceptions. I'd expect uh, Vance Joseph to be aggressive and uh, blitz the rookie uh, signal caller to force him into some bad decisions. If the Broncos can win the turnover battle, it will help them earn a much-needed victory on the road. And no more three and outs. That's also a big key there. Avoid setting NFL record for most three and outs in a season. My brain can only handle so many of these drives. I thought my head would explode in previous uh, seasons when it, uh, seasons, uh, in seasons when it uh, seemed uh, excessive. In 2024, the sheer number of three and outs per game is beyond excessive. It's become a, a catastrophic. Uh, please, please get a first down on your first drive on Thursday night, please. Now, they also need to protect the ball. Turnovers are, are game killers. And uh, against the Chargers, we just uh, another in long line of examples of that. The Broncos should win this game, but turnovers are a depth knell. Uh, if Bo Nix can protect the ball and Devontae Williams can keep it off the turf, the Broncos will beat the Saints. Now, also, run the dang ball. That's the other one. I'd like it uh, if they could also get uh, uh, esteem going early in this one. And the Broncos have done just that. Uh, uh, the Broncos need to establish the run early in uh, the game so uh, Nix isn't forced to throw 30-plus times on Thursday. The Saints are without uh, uh, Derek uh, Carr, quarterback Derek Carr as well, besides two of their top receivers, who was out with an injury. The Saints offense really needs to, to get going and uh, – and uh, really needs to get going and ha to have to is going to have to really to really uh, have to step it up against the Broncos as well as their defense if they want to come away with a victory over the Broncos tonight. And they need to do that. And right now, they find themselves down by 13 points at halftime. I'm going to let you know where uh, we stand with this game. I'm going to go over the first half uh, highlights. Uh, just a sec, but right now it is time to reveal the answer to today's Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football Week 7 trivia question. What major baseball team drafted John Elway? And if you said the New York Yankees, you are correct. Uh, Elway played for the Yankees Minor League Farm Club. And I'll have another trivia question on my next podcast, which will be for my Scott Sports 101, uh, Brown's an early game uh, pregame show on Sunday, and I'll be on location for that at the Murphy House with one of my friends, Matt and Katie Murphy. And uh, my guest will be none other than my really good friend, Matt Murphy. So I'm looking forward to that. Please tune in for that on Sunday. Uh, uh, right now, I'm going to go over the first half stats and uh, tell you where we uh, stand. Well, first half highlights, and Denver's about to kick off its third quarter. Uh, they kicked a field goal. It is 19 to 3. Now, I'm going to go over these first uh, pass sets. First quarter, the uh, Broncos went three and out, uh, had the punt after going three and out, six plays, 24 yards. Then the Saints had the punt after going three and out, four plays, 40 yards. Uh, Denver tried to get into the end zone. Uh, it was a 36 at the Rolling's 31. Bo Mick, Nick Scranton. Scrambles left and pushed out of bounds. That's a 28 for three yards. And then they got into field goal range. Fourth and third at the New Orleans 28. Lutz had a 46-yard field goal, which was good. And it was 3-0 Broncos. 
And then the Saints fumbled the ball. It was a first and 10 at the, at the 50, the Broncos 50. Uh, 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 Spencer uh, Rattler sacked at the New Orleans 43 for minus seven yards. Uh, Barton fumbles, touched at Denver 48, recovered by uh, Denver's uh, Alexander at the uh, Denver 45. And they tried to get, it was a, there was a fourth and one to New Orleans. There was a penalty on Denver, delay of game, uh, minus five yards, and forced it to New Orleans 8, no play. They got in the field goal range, fourth and six at the New Orleans 13, at the Saints 13. Lurch's 32 yard field goal is good, and it was 6 0 Denver at the end of the first quarter. Second quarter, New Orleans had the punt after going three and out. Uh, three plays and 15 yards, and the Broncos scored their first touchdown of the game. Uh, uh, Javante uh, Williams, right guard for the eight yard touchdown. Lutz extra point is good. It was 13 0 Denver. Uh, then New Orleans tried to uh, get in to score a touchdown. They got to third and 11 at the Denver 23 at the Broncos 23. Spencer uh, Rattler passed short right to uh, uh, more you for, uh, for to the Denver 17 for a six yard gain. There's fourth and five at the Denver 17. Uh, a group for the uh, 35 yard field goal it was good. It was 13 3. Broncos tried to get into the end zone. And they couldn't do it. They uh, third and seven at New Orleans, 37. Boom, uh, next scrambles right and ran out of bounds at the New Orleans, 34 for three yards. <clears throat> and uh, then it was a fourth and fourth at New Orleans, 34. Uh, Will Lutz, 52 uh, yard uh, field goal was good. And uh, it was uh, 16 to 3, uh, Broncos. And then uh, it was the third and fourth in the world. Spencer Rattler kneels after a couple of plays at the uh, New Orleans 35. And so, uh, and that's where, and now in the third, the, uh, the uh, Saints at their point after going three and out, uh, three plays, three yards. And then, uh, there's a three and five at the New Orleans 20. Bo Nix pass a complete deep right to uh, Humphrey at the uh, at, and uh, was no gain. Fourth and fifth at the New Orleans 20. Lutz 38 yard field goal was good. It's 19 3 Denver. And uh, Will Lutz has kicked uh, 65 yards from the Denver 35 to the end zone. Touchback to the New Orleans 30. And that's basically where we stand. And uh, the Saints really need to come out and play hard this second half if they want to get the one over Denver. But with being without Derek Carr and two of their top receivers, it's highly unlikely. It doesn't look like they are. And it just ended uh, just a little while ago, moving on to the ALCS. And that is, as you may have heard, uh, as you may have heard, uh, As you may have seen or seen and heard as well as do it. And the uh, Cleveland Guardians beat the New York Yankees in in 10 innings in a nail biter. Seven to five tonight at Progressive Field. Oh, what a game this was. Uh And this this was just a nail biter, and this was all oh, all fans were on pins and needles, and uh, uh, it was uh, uh. It was top of the first, first, it was top of the first, uh, by Gleaver, uh, uh, Torres walks, and then it was uh, on a field delay, it was a field delay, and then, uh, Juan Soto lines out to center fielder Lane Thomas for the first out. Aaron Judge, uh, strikes out swinging, and there were two outs, and then, uh, uh, 
Uh, Gian, uh, Carlos Santa walks uh, Glaber uh, Torres to second. Jez, uh, 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 Chessholm Jr. called out on strikes. And uh, nothing, nothing. Stephen Kwan walks. This is the bottom of the first. Stephen Kwan walks. Kyle uh, Manzardo singles on a fly ball. It's a right fielder. Uh, Juan Soto. Stephen Kwan to second. Jose Ramirez strikes out. Uh, that was the first time. Josh Naylor grounds out to first. Baseman John uh, uh, Bird. Uh, 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 Birdie, uh, uh, Stephen Kwan to third, Kyle uh, Mazzara to second. There were two outs. Clay Thomas grounds out to third baseman, Jazz, uh, Jazz Chesson, uh, to Jazz, to Jazz Hossom Jr., the first baseman. John Birdie, there were three outs. And then top of the second, John Birdie strikes out swinging. Anthony uh, Volpe walks. Uh, Alex uh, Virgo doubles on a ground ball to right fielder Daniel uh, Sheeman and Anthony Volpe. Junior to third. Uh, then uh, Jose Trevino singles on a ground ball to right fielder Daniel Shima. Anthony Volpe scores. Ellis Navarro uh, to third. It was 1 0 Yankees. With Kluber Torres batting, uh, Jose Trevino picked off and caught stealing second base. Uh, Matthew uh, Boyd, it's a pitcher, Matthew, pitcher Matthew Boyd, three outs. Uh, and then uh, uh, Gleber, uh, Gleber Torres lines out to left fielder Stephen Kwan. That got the third out. Bottom of the second, uh, Daniel Sheeman flies out sharply to left fielder Alex uh, Vertigo. There was one out. Andres Jimenez grounds out to second baseman uh, Glaber Torres to first baseman John Brady. There were two outs. And Austin Hedges grounds out to first baseman John Brady. There were three outs. And it was scoreless. Through to, it was one nothing. still. <clears throat> Top of the third. Juan Soto grounds out to second baseman uh, Andres Jimenez. First baseman Josh Naylor, one out. Aaron Judge grounds out to shortstop Ryan Rocchio. To first baseman Josh Naylor, there were two outs. Uh, Giancarlo Stratton grounds out to shortstop Ryan Rocchio. To first baseman uh, Josh uh, Naylor, there were three outs. Bottom of the third, Brian Rocchio singles on a drive to second baseman Glaber Torres deflected by first baseman John Birdie. Uh, 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 Stephen Kwan flies out to center field to Aaron Judge. Kyle Manzota homers on a fly ball to right field. Brian Rocchio scores, and it was a two-run homer, two-run uh, Cleveland. Bottom of the third, Jose Ramirez walks. Josh Naylor strikes out swinging. There were two outs. Uh, Yankees challenged the, the tag play call on the field. Was upheld. Jose Ramirez steals second base. Clay Thomas grounds out to shortstop Anthony Volpe uh, to first baseman John uh, Rudy, and there were three outs. 2-1, uh, bottom of the third. Top of the fourth. Uh, Jazz Chesholm Jr. grants out to second baseman Andreas Ginemis. To first baseman Josh Naylor, one out. John Birdie uh, strikes out swinging, two outs. Anthony Volpe grounds out to shortstop Brian Rocchio. Uh, to first baseman Josh Naylor for three outs. Uh, and then it was, it was still 2-1 uh, Cleveland. Bottom of the fourth. Daniel Sheeman grounds out to shortstop Anthony Volpe to first baseman John uh, Birdie. There was one out. Andreas Ginemis grounds out to first baseman John uh, Birdie with uh, two outs. Uh, Austin Hedges doubles uh, on a line drive to left fielder Alex Vertigo. Brian Rocchio grounds out to first baseman John uh, Birdie. There were three outs. 2-1 at the end of the fourth. Top of the fifth. Uh, Alex Vertigo lines out to uh, left fielder Stephen Kwan. One out. Jose Trevino grounds out to shortstop Ryan Rocchio uh, to uh, first baseman Josh Naylor. There were two outs. Uh, Cleaver Torres grounds out to shortstop Ryan Rocchio to first baseman Josh Naylor. There were three outs. And it was still 2-1. to one. We're going to the bottom of the fifth. Stephen Kwan lines out to center field there and judge. There were, it was one out. Kyle Mazzara grounds out to second baseman Cleaver Torres to first baseman Josh Naylor. There were two outs. Jose Ramirez doubles. Uh, line drives right fielder uh, Jose uh, Soto, or S Sano, excuse me. Then there was a pitching change. Ch Tim Hill replaced uh, Clark Schmidt. Josh Naylor flies out to left fielder Alex Winnego. There were three outs. Still 2 1 Cleveland at the end of the fifth. Top of the sixth. Uh, Guardians had a pitching change. Kate Smith replaced Matthew Boyd. Juan Soto grounds out to shortstop Ryan Rocchio. To first baseman Josh Naylor. One out. Aaron Judge strikes out. Swinging, uh, two outs. Then it was uh, uh, Guillen Carlos Stanton uh, grounds out to third baseman Jose Ramirez to first baseman Josh Naylor. Three outs, and 
It was still 2-1 Cleveland. Then another pitching change. Ian Hamilton replaces Tim Hill. Uh, Lane Thomas walks. The Yankees challenged to play at first. Uh, call on the field was overturned. Daniel Sheeman grounds out to first baseman. Uh, John Birdie to pitcher. Uh, Ian Hamilton. Uh, Thomas to second. One out. Then we had an injury delay, but after that, uh, pitching change. Tim uh, uh, Meza replaces Ian Hamilton. Lane Thomas still third base. Andreas Ginova singles on uh, ground ball to uh, center field to Aaron Judge. Lane Thomas scores. It was 3-1 to one Cleveland in the bottom of the sixth. Austin Hedges uh, walks. Uh, Andre Ginova to second. Brian Rocchio pops out to catcher Josh Trevino in foul territory. Two outs. Andreas Ginova still third base. Steve McQuan grounds out to uh, second baseman uh, Glaber Torres to first baseman John Birdie. Uh, three and then number three outs, three one Cleveland at the end of the sixth, top of the seventh. Another Yankees pitching change or a Guardians pitching change, excuse me. Uh, Tim Heron replaces Kate Smith. Chaz uh, just home walks. Sean Birdie grounds out into a double play. Uh, third baseman Jose Ramirez to uh, second baseman Andres Ginemas. First baseman Josh Naylor. Uh, just uh, just home out at second. John Birdie out at uh, first. There were two outs. And still 3-1 Cleveland. Anthony Volpe doubles on a line drive to left fielder Steve McQuan. Ellis Vertigo flies out to left fielder Steve McQuan. It was three outs. Uh, and it was still 3-1 Cleveland. There was an offensive substitution pinch hitter. David Fry replaced uh, Kyle uh, uh, Manchardo. David Fry walks. Pitching chance. Tommy uh, 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 Taniel. Replaces Tim uh, Meza. Uh, Jose Ramirez flies out to left fielder. Alex Vertigo, one out. Josh Naylor strikes out swinging. There were two outs. Lane Thomas walks to Dave, uh, David Fry to second. Daniel Sheeman grounds out to first baseman John Birdie to pitcher uh, Tommy uh, Canillo, three outs. Uh, top of the eighth. Uh, defensive switch. David Fry remains in the game as the designated hitter. There was a uh, Guardians pushing change yet again. Hunter Gaddis replaces Tim Heron. And then an offensive substitution pinch hitter, uh, uh, Austin Wells, replaces Jose Trevino. Uh, now in the uh, top of the eighth, Austin Wells uh, <clears throat> strikes out in a foul tip. There was one out. Uh, Gleyber Torres grounds out to second. Baseman Andreas Unamas to first baseman Josh New. There were two outs. Uh, once uh, Sato walks. Then there was a pitching change. Uh, Emmanuel Classe replaces Hunter Gaddis. And they got, uh, the Yankees got to our closer in the bottom of the eighth inning. Aaron Judge, a two-run homer on a line drive to right field. Uh, Juan Soto scores. It was tied at three. Uh, the Guardians challenged. Uh, touching a base on, call on the field was upheld. Uh, Giancarlo Stanton homers on a three- uh, uh, homers. It was a three-run homer on a fly ball to center field, and it was 4-3 Yankees. Uh, Jess Chesson singles on a ground ball to center field, Lane Thomas. Uh, Jess Chesson still second base. John Brady flies out to right field to Daniel Sheeman, and there were three outs, and it was 4-3, and that was the bottom of the eighth. Defensive substitution, Anthony Rizzo replaces first baseman John Brady, batting in the sixth, uh, playing first base. Austin Wells remains in the game as the catcher. Now, in the bottom of the eighth, Andres Genemas grounds out to shortstop Anthony Volpe to first uh, baseman and Anthony Rizzo, uh, and it was one out. Uh, offensive substitution pitch hitter Will Brennan replaces Austin Hedges. Will Brennan doubles uh, on a it was a uh, on a ground ball to right fielder uh, uh, Juhan uh, once uh, Sato deflected by first baseman Anthony Rizzo, and still four three Cleveland. Uh, Brian Rocchio flies out to. Uh, center field to Aaron Judge. There were two outs. Stephen Klein walks. Pitching change. Luke Weaver replaces Tommy uh, uh, Keneal. David Fry strikes out swinging. It was still 4-3 at the end of the eighth inning. Top of the ninth. Another uh, Guardians defensive sub substitution. Bo Naylor replaces Will Brennan, batting eighth and playing catcher. And then, the, and then another pitching change for the Guardians. Eli Morgan replaces Emmanuel Classe. Yeah, uh, Anthony Volpe walks. Uh, Alex Vertigo reaches on a fielder's choice. 
fielded by second baseman Andreas Dynamis, Anthony Volpe uh, to third, uh, Alex Vertigo to second, Anthony Volpe advances to third on a missed catch error by third baseman Jose Ramirez, assist to second baseman uh, Andreas Dynamis, uh, Austin Wells uh, strikes out swinging, it was one out, then a pitching change, uh, Anthony uh, uh, Walters uh, replaces Eli Morgan. Uh, Gleyber Torres on a uh, out on a sacrifice fly to center fielder. Lane Thomas, Anthony Volpe scores. Uh, Alex Vertigo to third and two outs, but it was five three Yankees. Uh, Juan Soto called out on strikes. It was three outs in the bottom of the ninth. This is one. <clears throat> Jose Ramirez reaches on a fielder error by first baseman Anthony Rizzo. Fash Neal grounds on him a double play. Uh, pitcher Luke Weaver to shortstop Anthony Volpe to first baseman Anthony Rizzo. Jose Ramirez out at second. Josh Naylor out at first. There were two outs, 5-3 Cleveland. Lane Thomas doubles on a short fly ball to center field to Aaron Judge. Then there was an offensive uh, substitution for the Yankees. <laughs> Pinch hitter uh, Daniel uh, Chahansky. Uh, Noel replaces Daniel Sheeman. That was for the uh, Guardians, actually. Excuse me. A uh, Guardian substitution. Pinch hitter Daniel uh, uh, Jahansky Noel places uh replaces Daniel Sheeman. That was the Guardians, not Yankees, my mistake. Uh Jahansky Noel Homer's on a one fly ball. It's a two-run homer. Lane Thomas scores. And the ball game is tied at five. Andre Shinami strikes out on a foul tip. There were three outs, and now we're in the top of the tenth. And we made the Yankees pay in that ninth inning, the bottom of the ninth inning. Uh top of the tenth, uh Jah a defensive switch. Hanske in the wall remains in the game as the right fielder. And uh, a pitching change. Uh, Pedro uh, Vela replaces Andrew Walters. And that was a Guardians pitching change. Aaron Judge called out on strikes. One out. Uh, uh, G uh, Glenn Carlos Stanton walks. Offensive substitution. Pitch winner. Uh, Jason uh, uh, Dominguez replaces uh, Glenn Carlo uh, Stanton. Uh, Jazz, uh, just on grounds out to second baseman, Andreas Dynamis, first baseman, Josh Naylor. Jason uh, Dominguez to second. There were two outs. Uh, Pedro Avila intentionally walks Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Volpe strikes out swinging at West 5. Still tied at 5. Bottom of the 10th, Jason, defensive switch. Jason Dominguez remains in the game as the designated hitter. Pitching change, Clay Holmes replaces Luke Weaver. Uh, and that was for the Yankees. Bo Naylor singles on a ground ball to right fielder Juan Soto. Brian Rocchio uh, uh, out on a sacrifice bunt. Catch Austin Wallace to first. Uh, Anthony Rizzo, uh, baseman Anthony Rizzo, Bo Naylor to second, one out. Stephen Grant, <coughs> Quan, grounds out, Quan grounds out on to pitcher uh, Clay Holmes to first baseman Anthony Rizzo. Bo Naylor to third. And this is when we made the Yankees pay. This is when. We all thought it was over in the it was over in the ninth. It was going to be over in the bottom of the ninth, but it wasn't. This is one in the top. Now it's it's this is when it was when fans were on the edge of their seats. David Fry, a two-run homer, a fly ball to left center field. Bo Naylor scores. The Guardians win <laughs> by a, a final score of seven to five. In 10 innings. Oh. What a game. And uh, this just really saved the Guardians season. They're down two games to one. Uh, game four is tomorrow. Uh, and uh, back here at Progressive Field tomorrow. I'm having a little technical problem here. Just hold on a minute. Uh, uh, trying to find who the winning pitcher was today in this game today. I am trying to find out who it is, and I know we do have a winning pitcher. Uh, I don't know. But I do think
And I'm trying to find out who it is today, the winning uh, pitcher for the uh, Guardians today. Uh, and I do uh, believe I'm trying to find out. <laughs> Maybe it's in the summer. Let me go back to my. And, uh, but I think, uh, uh, I think that last picture of the guys, I think, got the win. So, but just what a game! Oh, that progressive field today. This was just one of those games where you were on the edge of your seat. I think Avila got the win, and the Yankees' other pitcher got the uh, the uh, Yankees won. Uh, Holmes got the loss, I believe. Check me if I'm wrong on that. But just what a game of progressive field tonight. It just saved our season. And, uh, and uh, game four is tomorrow at 8.08. It'll be on TBS again. And, uh, boy, just what a game. And so we'll look for see if we can tie it up tomorrow in uh, game two. Well, that's just about going to wrap it up uh, for the Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football uh, Update Show and uh, ALCS uh, uh, Post Game Show. We'll be back tomorrow, uh, and I'll hopefully be back with the Scott Sports Thursday Night Football Post Game Show once the game between the Broncos and the uh, Saints has concluded. Uh, and it's, uh, before I do my sign off here, 26-3 Denver with 56 seconds left to go in the third quarter. First attempt to Denver 21 and the Broncos have the ball. So it's going to be a long night for the Saints. Now, and I'll be, now until I come back with the postgame show, but there's no football until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day in every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one, I'm done.